young people 15 to 24, an age of possibility, a time to prepare for the future. Most of the world's 1.2 billion youth live in developing countries, 500 million in rural areas. But their numbers are growing fastest in some of the poorest places, and the obstacles they face are daunting. Poverty and inequality, lack of skills and training, limited access to land, finance, and technology. The challenge that we youths in this area face is financial aspect. No a cualquier mujer, por lo general en los lugares rurales se nos toma en cuenta, pues siempre está más que todo el machismo que se genera, ¿verdad? Thách thức lớn nhất của người trẻ hiện nay thì vẫn là làm sao để tạo ra thu nhập để nuôi sống gia đình và làm kinh tế. What can be done to help these young people seize the opportunities of the digital revolution now spreading across the developing world and avert the impacts of climate change? How can governments and policymakers harness the potential of this growing population while meeting the aspirations and demands of young people themselves? The 2019 Rural Development Report, Creating Opportunities for Rural Youth, finds that these challenges, if met, will provide unparalleled opportunity at a critical juncture. If we do not take any special initiatives, we'll have to continue facing those um, um, forced um, economic migrations and the risk of um, increased inequalities and the fragility that comes uh, with all of that. The report presents the constraints youth face in an increasingly complex world. The poorest nations in sub-Saharan Africa have the fastest growing youth population but are least able to address the challenges. And among young people, women face some of the biggest obstacles. Young rural women can be said to uh, be facing a triple challenge. Basically by the nature of living in rural areas, being female and being young. But there are opportunities. Among young people we found that 67% live in areas with great agricultural potential. But only in a third of those do they actually have market access. Investments focused on three key areas may pay some of the biggest dividends for rural youth. Productivity is uh, referring to our ability to generate income. That's not good enough though. Uh, we need to be connected, especially for young people. You have to have a sense of agency. You have to feel empowered. And it's the, the three of those together that allow young people to take advantage of opportunities. Productive, connected, and in charge of their own futures. Kwa hii fucha, nimepata, nime nunua kondo, nime leva school fees, na nime ongeza siyamba kwe tano. Sha Allah gajinzi ya, ila kumala. Ahora me veo como un empresario. We have all these young people, they're capable, they're, they're able to contribute, they can be productive. Uh, what can we do to actually ensure that they're included? in the process of rural transformation. A broad, strong rural development policy combined with a clear policy of including young people is the best way to go to address the issues of young people. Failing to invest in young people will be failing them, their families and their communities. We'll also compromise our capacity to reach the very challenging development objectives we have set for ourselves. Ahora. Somos jóvenes que aportamos más a la sociedad, aportamos más a nuestra familia y están mejor preparados para la vida. 